Why could he not come back to India? Where is he? Was he in India? investigation of the Mukherjee Commission, one of the leads, if investigated thoroughly, could provide a plausible answer. I came to the opinion that both groups, one disputed and the other admitted writings of Shabash Nagar, they were matching with each other. The country must know what happened to Netaji. Story says the plane crashed on 18 midday. I think it's a very complex. How the person could be admitted on 17th Congress government's attitude in the next year? It allows us to see the body, a covered body. Just to make sure convinced was cremated, whose death without being identified. Photograph was taken of the dead body. How could you recognize that he is Shubhash Chandra Bose? It was the purpose of taking that photograph. How could there be death without a death? One of Netaji's close associates, Leela Roy, an exemplary revolutionary, was called upon by a certain Gumnami Baba. After her first meeting with the saint, Leela Roy, who had known Netaji closely since 1922, became convinced that the saint was indeed none other than Netaji himself. He lived alone. No one saw him. Some people visited that place. But they were not allowed to see him. Just as Mukherjee also firmly believed that the anonymous saint of Faisabad was none other than Netaji himself. The report submitted by Justice Mukherjee was published still. This is an issue which has to be approached very objectively, dispassionately, like a detective does. No action was taken in this regard. The government, honoring me, to fully cooperate. I am 100% sure the only hope. His belief is not without any reason and can, in fact, be supported with factual evidence and other circumstantial evidence. Perhaps the most intriguing political mystery of 20th century Indian history is the fate of our most formidable leader, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. In world history, Subhash Chandra Bose undoubtedly remains the most heroic and tragic figure.